Yes, people, welcome back to the H Talks Chelsea channel, and we're going to be talking about the Real Madrid game last night. And fuck, I'm fuming. This team, I've had it, I've had it with this team, man. The club as it as itself, the owners, we're just these owners, right, are an absolute disgrace. I'm just going to start. I'm not going to talk about the fucking game yet because it's more than the fucking game at this point. I don't think these owners, yeah, Bowley. Egbali, these fucking idiots here, yeah, don't know how to run a football club, they've had a baseball club, they've come here, like, some, they're some, some sort of fucking, like, big boys, like, they know what the fuck they're doing, they don't know fucking shit. I've had enough, bruv, like, it's, it's shocking, man. And Bowley sits there and he has the cheek, he has the cheek to say, yeah, when I, when I, um, the press come up to him, and he says, we're going to beat Real Madrid 3-0. You fucking muppet, bruv. What a fucking disgrace of an ownership. We're never going to fucking move anywhere until they let the manager start picking the team for once. That would actually help. Mount came on with 20 minutes to go and he nearly scored if it weren't for a fucking great Rudiger block. But apparently Felix is, is he's the golden boy, isn't he? You know what I mean? He's going to drag us through these games. He's meant to be the one, you know, scoring the goals. He's, what's he got? One, like two goals, one, one goal. The whole fucking season, season he's fucking played. And Felix's chance. Seriously, man. What was that? The first five minutes into the game, yeah? When we could have got one new up and Ramadan gets the burn of us. It's a completely different game. He's through one on one. You take 15 touches, yeah? When all you need is two touches at your feet and fucking shoot. It's not good enough. It's not good enough for fucking Chelsea Football Club to miss them sort of chances, man. A great striker puts that in. It's a fucking disgrace. I know he ain't a striker, I know, I know he's meant to be a 10 or whatever the fuck he's meant to be. But if you're paying £100 million for this guy, yeah, and you're not going to fucking buy a DM and shit, the fuck? You've got to be scoring them sort of chances, man. I'm sick of having people starting to say, oh yeah, give him time, give players time. Bruv. Fucking some players we thought you have came in and just hit the ground running. Look at Badashile, he came from a different league, he just fucking hit the ground running, he'd done his thing, man. It's a disgrace, it really is. I mean, our attack is just dross at the minute. The defence as well. I mean, Koulibaly, mate. Fucking send him back to fucking Napoli. This guy's shit. I've had enough of it, man. He's a fucking bozo. He's got a mistake in him. Like I said before, and I'll say it again, he's a black Harry Maguire, yeah? And he's fucking useless. He's meant to be a fucking leader in this team, yeah? He's meant to be full of experience. He ain't leading shit, bruv. He's leading us down the fucking table. That's where he's leading us. It's just a shocking performance. And the amount of time Enzo had the ball, yeah, and he had, he had all the time in the world, yeah, to try and find a fucking pass over the top. No one's making fucking runs. He's holding the ball for about two minutes because he's looking forward to see who's in front of him. No one's making runs. What's Sterling doing? Sitting there like a fucking headless chicken. Doing fuck all once again. Another signing. Fucking shit. And just to top it off, we've got these owners upstairs. Thinking they're the fucking big boys around town. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. And the fans need to start realising, because it's just, I see still some from fans that are sitting here saying, oh yeah, give them time, they might turn it around. And like, These owners are clueless. Until they let people do their jobs and what they're meant to do, and they get their head out of their arse, it ain't going to change. I ain't fucking Chelsea, man. At all. And you, do you really think we're going to go to Stamford Bridge and turn these over? We've got to score two goals without conceding, like... I want to believe we can, and we are fucking Chelsea, and in the Champions League we do some sometimes do magical things. But listen, especially with Lampard as manager, like there's no. T I'll be real, like I, I want to back Lampard. I'm gonna back him. I mean, he's only here for like what ten games now, eight games, whatever it will be. But the tact, he's got no tactics, man. Let's be honest. It's just fucking lay out the team and play. Even if he is fucking, the, he might not even be picking the fucking players. Let's be real, it's probably fucking Bowley and Egbali fucking picking the team anyway. But yeah, it's just fucking there's the team and vibes, bro. There's no tactics, man, at all. Nothing. We're spineless. We ain't got a DM. No striker. A shit goalie. The team playing like they're playing for fucking Burnley. There's no aggression. There's no fight. 
for this fucking club. Play some of the fans on the fucking pitch. They'll do a better job than some of these fucking wankers on the pitch. Sterling sitting on 300 odd grand a week, bro. What's he fucking doing? He's doing jack shit. He's just hugging the touchline. <sighs> Same old story as well. Attack not finishing chances. I'm sick to fucking death of it. Sick to death of it. But it's just mourning the team at the minute right now. We all know it's that. Well, we, I say we all know. Half us don't fucking know. Because some people blaming it completely on the players. It's the fucking owners. We won't be in this mess if it weren't for fucking Bowling and Bali, yeah? Sacking Tuchel and bringing in fucking Graham Potter from Brighton. You fucking muppets. It's a fucking disgrace. You really think sacking Tuchel and bringing in Potter is going to fucking, oh yeah, fucking bring us to the fucking promised land, is it? You fucking idiots, man. You sacked Tuchel and fucking bring in Potter. And then you said, oh yeah, we're gonna give, we want to give a manager loads of time. We want to give him years. They said, yeah. They, were, they said, no matter what happens, we're going to give him years. He sacked him after a couple months. Bowley, you donkey. Don't know what you're talking about. Don't even believe that some of the shit you come out of yourself. 3-0 Chelsea against Madrid, you fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. Oh my God, bro. Get fucking worked out about this shit. And the fans, fucking, I feel sorry for the fans that travel to fucking Madrid, mate. Fucking refund their tickets and their travel and everything. It's a fucking disgrace, man. Absolute disgrace. And I'm meant to be going fucking Brighton on Saturday. I might fucking sell my ticket. That's how sick to death of it I am now. I don't even blame fans. I'm seeing fans selling their tickets and shit. Why would you want to go watch that crap, yeah? And you're supporting this fucking team when our owners ain't fucking doing shit for this club. And the money's gone in their fucking pockets. It's beyond a joke. And the quicker the f whole fan base sees it, the better. I mean, I don't even think it's going to change next season. If they go and bring in an Igelsman or someone like that, who's not going to go up to them and tell them what they actually want, and they're not going to give it to them, then fuck me, we've got another season like this. We might not be in the Champions League for fucking two, three years at this rate. And even if we do get top four, that ain't a fucking celebration for Chelsea. Oh yeah, fucking top four. Four for losers, third losers, second losers, whatever the fuck it is. Shit. We should be challenging for this fucking title. We spent 600 fucking million pounds. And there's going to be more in the summer. And then what's going to happen if we finish fucking fifth or sixth next season, yeah? What's going to happen then? Is Bowie going to come out and fucking open his mouth and say he's done something wrong? Or is he going to sit there with a smug face drinking a fucking beer? It's nothing to fucking celebrate, you dickheads. Fucking game was shocking. Absolute shocking. I don't know if everyone's seen the picture, but there's a picture where our defence, our midfield and attack are sitting there on a fucking halfway line. All of them like a fucking, like the fucking war of China, bro. It's a fucking disgrace. Absolute disgrace. This is not Chelsea, yeah? And I'm not letting the fucking standards of this club drop because these American owner has come in here and fucking gutted the shit out of us. It's fucking load of bollocks. And he waffles on about the future, like the fucking future's bright. The future looks fucking horrendous. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about the game and the ownership. Because I've fucking had it now. I've fucking had it, man. There's nowhere to go from here. I can't see us now bringing in a... F I just... I wanted to hope that we'll go get Enrique in the fucking end of the season, but... I'll be honest, I don't know if we are, man. We might just get another fucking yes, man. And then we're fucked for another season. That'll be another season without winning for And then before you know it, yeah, that's two seasons gone without winning jack shit. And people can tell me, oh yeah, it's alright to have a couple seasons off. No, it fucking isn't, man. We're fucking Chelsea, yeah, and we should stay to our fucking standards. We're used to winning shit. Would Real Madrid fucking take it if they had fucking this shit going on? The fans of the handkerchiefs aren't going fucking ape shit. They'll be protesting. They won't be fucking having it. So we shouldn't fucking have it. We need to fuck keep the standards high. We're going to drop to fucking Arsenal and Tottenham's fucking level of fucking previous years. I'm not fucking letting it fucking happen. But some of these fans are. And they're just accepting it for what it is. Like, oh, well, it looks like we're in a mid-table club. Why don't you... We need to start... Everyone needs to start sticking it to these fucking lot. Because they ain't going to change their fucking model and shit. 
It's going to be the same old crap. They're going to spend money every window, yeah? What? We're 300 billion that window. Buy these young players, yeah? Where's your experience as well? No fucking experience. They'll probably go up by a fucking 19 year old fucking DM here on his own with our own experience one ahead of him. They'll probably go by Lavia on his own and just let him fucking just YOLO it and fucking chuck him out there, yeah? Like a fucking Beyblade. Fucking throw him out there, yeah? And see if he fucking does the business on his own without anyone ahead of him. And he's going to think he's going to be able to learn how to play CDM on the Chelsea's level, yeah? On his own. When how old is he? Look, 2019. Ain't going to happen. These owners are clueless in the head. They think we're going to build a fucking young super team and we're going to go and fucking dominate Europe and win the Premier League when you like a Man City. Fucking living under a rock, these lot. They think this is going to happen. I don't know. Someone must have spiked Bowley or something when he went to buy the club because this guy is fucking clueless. He moves like he's pissed the whole fucking time. It's like he's, it's like he's just walking around pissed out of his head and just making decisions on the piss. I mean, we've got baseball owners running our fucking club. They ain't got a fucking clue. They haven't got a clue. And it's so fucking worrying. And they're here for another 10 years. We could go seven years without winning jack shit. And then the standards are just dropping and dropping and dropping. And then we're going to start accepting shit like, oh yeah, at least we got top four this season. No, that ain't fucking, that ain't fucking Chelsea. Don't even fucking bring us down that fucking route. But there we go, people, yeah. That's enough of a fucking rant about the game. I don't really want to even dive into detail on the game. I mean, it's just simple as we're shit. We're shit up front. There's no fucking bottle about this team. No fight. It just is what it is, man. This looks like, as Potter said, yeah, it's fucking life, isn't it? That's life, bruv. It does look like it's fucking life for us now, isn't it? We've got this shit for another 10 years by the looks of it, unless the fucking, all the fan base start fucking realising, yeah, it's the owners, bruv. It's the fucking owners, man. I want to fucking, I'd love them to fucking prove me wrong, yeah, and turn it around. Don't get me, like, I fucking love it. Fucking bring it on, please. Fucking show me you actually fucking do something good for the fucking club. But yeah, people, man, listen, if you let me know what you think in the comments, yeah. Big up to you watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, it helps with the channel. Up the chels. I guess we moved to fucking Brighton.